As the war in Ukraine completes 1,000 days, Kiev is facing its most devastating winter. With Russian forces launching the most powerful offensive since 2022 and energy infrastructure crumbling, the nation is on the edge of survival. Our next report telling you more. Ukrainian troops fight to hold the line as Russia unleashes its most powerful offensive in months. Kharkiv, Kherson and Sumy are under unyielding bombardment. Sumy bears the brunt, enduring over 120 missiles and 90 drone strikes, leaving towns scarred and communities shaken. Energy infrastructure already crippled, teeters on collapse with Ukraine now operating at just one-third of its pre-war electricity capacity. President Volodymyr Zelensky visits the embattled city of Pokrovsk, awarding troops who stand firm despite overwhelming odds. The symbolism is clear. Ukraine will resist. The enemy receives a daily response from you and your comrades. Please convey my deepest gratitude to them on behalf of the entire people of Ukraine. The U.S. has approved Kyiv's use of long-range weapons to strike deep into Russian territory, a move cheered by some European nations. If you're talking about the, the east, eastern members, the frontline members, the Baltic states, uh, uh, Poland, um, of course, they've been calling for this for a long time, so that they will they will welcome this. Uh, and I yeah, and I think that there's been, uh, you know, a little, you know, there's been some annoyance at, at Washington uh, by having this policy because it um, there are a number of Central European countries, Germany in, in particular, who've been quite happy to kind of um, sit back or or hide behind uh, our our policy. Biden's big policy shift could shift the tactical landscape but risks further escalation, while Poland and other European nations cheer the decision. Caution clouds Germany's response. Berlin, Ukraine's second largest arms supplier, is still refusing to send long-range Taurus missiles. Biden's authorization to strike Russian territory offers a glimmer of tactical hope. But on the battlefield, Russian forces continue to advance capturing new territory on a daily basis. The big question is, how much is this a blow to Ukraine? Bureau report, Beyond World is One.